everybody, welcome back to Talking Walls. We're here for a match review, and arguably one of the best match reviews on the channel today. I'm with Matt Cooper. Matt, Ben, it was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> JK. <laughs> Walls are beating Manchester City two goals to nil at Etihad Stadium. And uh, what a feeling, what a result for Wolves as well. Under so much pressure this season after a shaky start, uh, a win at Watford, a win at Besiktas, and now a win away at Manchester City. Matt, I mean, you're probably going to struggle to put it into words, aren't we? I mean, the boys come up trumps again, hasn't it? At the Dharma Street, all right. Silence the critics now. Two very accomplished finishes under high pressure. Um, you know, Catroni scored a couple in the first half. Uh, we just thought it's one of those games like. City never looked like scoring, but neither did we with the chances we were, we were fluffing. But then, second half catching him on the counter, Nuno had his critics this season, but he got it absolutely spot on. Yeah, absolutely spot on. And all, all those players out there were, were, were faultless, every single one of them. Yeah. So, it that's probably the most comprehensive away performance I've seen from a wall side for as long as I can remember. Better than Spurs away, yeah, I kept agree. It, kept it so tight, came with a game plan and executed it to perfection. So credit to the staff, credit to the players, and hopefully now we, we, we can crack on because that kind of performance, wow, it, it was brilliant. Yeah, I agree. We'll start off with the team. Um, Wolves starting a, well, a 5-3-2 with Nagre and Dharma coming in at wing-backs, which I think surprised a few of us. Probably expected Johnny Dot to play there. Mm -hmm. I could throw there Raul um, sitting up front. But it worked so well, especially in the first half. Wolves did have their chances. Probably should have put one or two away. Mm -hmm. I think we're all worried that maybe it's going to be a repeat of that Carabao Cup a couple of years ago. Ed of Akari squandering those couple of chances. But it worked so well, didn't it? I know Wolves yeah. sat deep, but we knew what we were doing on the counter-attack. We, we, Man City, you know, we, we know they've, they've got a shaky back four. We know they've got their injuries, and we, we really did take yeah, advantage I, of that I, today. I mean, I think Nuno's been a bit guilty previously where he started Doc yeah. uh, and then brought on Adama with like half an hour to go to try and to try and win the game whereas today it was it was a reverse he played Vinagra and Adama and he, he took the game to Manchester City. Yeah. Really to champ is. champions of England and it, it it worked absolutely perfectly. And then obviously as 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 the game goes on we, we try and tighten it up, bringing on Johnny and Doc, which again fantastic substitutions to make. It really really did tighten it but Again, that just a, a, a Dharma is is such a different player to us last season, and again he's silencing the critics, and I'm I'm so made up for that. I mean, I know I'm his biggest fan, but you know he he, he, was, he was the scapegoat last season, and and yeah. and, and, and parts of this season. So to score two very good goals and just high pressure, Mister No End Product has come up with the end product yet again. So yeah, it was well, just a. It was just a brilliant. I said brilliant on the win. I said on the preview, I have expected us to play the five three two, just because it you know adds numbers in the midfield, a bit more defensive. But Adama at the moment is doing enough on his own to influence the whole yeah. squad and the whole formation. And again, as you say, he did so so well today. But we're not ignoring the hard work of Raúl Jiménez for both goals. The first goal that was unbelievable by Jiménez. Adama, I thought he's he's not made the right run here, and Jiménez just timed the movement and timed the pass to perfection. I mean, as you say, a great finish by Dharma for the yeah, first goal. Yeah, but both of them really, you know, you, you, so you just fluff your lines when you, you when you're staring down on goal. It's not one of those the pace instinct, is going instinctive, instinctive well. finishes. He's got time to think about it, and that's normally when he uh, uh, fluffs his lines. But yeah, he just slotted it past the keeper, and just just a brilliant, just a brilliant move. Such a great counter-attacking goal, but everyone was brilliant. Patricio made some brilliant oh, yeah, saves. Fantastic, yeah. Cody, fantastic. Be best game he's played all season. Bennett came in, slotted in seamlessly. Yeah. It, you know, it's, hopefully now we can crack on from that because that kind of performance should boost morale no end. I think, as you say, everyone was faultless today. The work rate that we put in for a team that had just played in Turkey two, three days ago Ooh. was unbelievable and it's a great way. It is a shame international breaks come now, but it's a great way to take momentum into the break work on it, get everyone a bit of rest. Jimenez was someone that has played, you know, non-stop for how many yeah. years and how many seasons now. It's going to be great for him to get a break with not being picked for Mexico. Um, Matt, it's going to be a difficult decision if he did have to pick a man of the match for that game. Adama, two, two goals, he wants the game. Even if yeah. he's on the bench, he's got man of the match. He's right <laughs> then, but, um, yeah. It has to be Adama, he's, he's scored two goals. Even a wing-back to keep Sterling at bay and co. Yeah, mate, I, mean, sort of I mean, that one down, down the other end where Sterling tried to turn him, Adama was a sort of, see you later, son. Right out of play, he was just he, yeah. he, he was just phenomenal. Matinho again controlled that midfield. His, 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 his intelligence was brilliant. Then Don Crabbe again. Yeah, Neves, 
I thought Neves, Neves was much better second half. Yeah. First half, he was sloppy. Very he gave complacent. them a couple of chances to possibly, you know, break. But second half, he made up for that. He was great. He started a couple of Bally, moves. unbelievable, as usual. Fantastic. Um, Vanagra had a, a quietish game going forward, but defensively, was sound. Yeah, he did what against, he needed to do. You know, against that front three, like, it would give any team in the world trouble. So, again, it was a 10 out of 10 performance from, from everyone. The, the most comprehensive away victory I've seen under Nuno. Came with a game plan, stuck to it. Mastered it, a massive credit to everyone today. Yeah, agreed, agreed. What's your mind of the match? Oh, man, tough to call. I would say Adama, but I think... You are going to say Adama. Okay, I'll say Adama. There we go. <laughs> yeah, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let us know your mind of the match and how you think Wolves got on. What a massive three points out for Wolves, beating the reigning champions at the Etihad. Be sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back very, very soon for some more content. Until then, we'll see you all very, very soon.